Good morning, Jared Wegland here from Focus Group Florida, Keller Williams Realty. Focus Homes, your local custom home builder and Focus Remodels when you love where you live and you wanna make it better. All right, so this week, uh, the big news is that uh, pricing is steady. Uh, when you look at year over year for the past several weeks, it's steady. Uh, not a lot of movement up or down, uh, which is good. Uh, also, when I look back on the stats, since January 2021 until this week, the average sold price for Lakeland has gone up about $100,000. Now that's the average, some are more, some are higher, um, but that's a pretty significant number since January, 2021. Uh, also for this particular week, we're seeing a 59% shortage in needed homes in Central Florida here. And so that means for every 41 homes available, there's a hundred buyers. Now this is slightly different from a normal seller's market. Um, usually the sellers are much more in control, I'll, I'll put it like that meaning that with the uh, economic situation going on with the interest rates where we have them, you'll see that sellers are uh, selling the house for 99% of the list price. However, that doesn't take into account that they may have uh, contributed towards uh, mortgage points to bring down the interest rate. They may have contributed to buyer closing costs. They may have uh, provided a warranty. They may have given a credit uh, for some repairs that maybe they wouldn't have done in the past. So as the sellers are feeling that um, those days on the market, um, you can see they're softening up a little bit. Like I said, not particularly on the pricing, but trying to help buyers get into these homes as it's becoming a little bit more difficult. If your income hasn't gone up as much as inflation, um, then that caused a bit of an issue. All right, one thing we're noticing as well is that the listings that show a price drop each week is low. It had been in the 40 to 60% range for several, several months, uh, meaning that each week uh, listings were being decreased and about half of the listings for sale in Lakeland were going down, uh, having a price improvement um, each week. That was a pretty big number. And that has gone all the way down to 16%. So my gut is telling me that the sellers are doing a better job pricing their homes up front and making a, a good marketable price with their realtor partners. Uh, also, it's telling me that if we're at 99% of the list price, that they are giving some other concessions that maybe can't be seen in the sales price itself. All right, uh, other things to note um, are expired, cancellation, withdrawals, very similar. The pattern hasn't changed there at all. Um, the uh, listings for Polk County were about even uh, to the pendings, meaning a certain number were homes were taken off the market with a new contract and went pending status and about the equal amount of homes came onto the market as a new listing. So that's good, that means the inventory is not shrinking. In Lakeland, it was slightly different. We're about 85% replenishment ratio, meaning that we had uh, more people come off the market than onto the market. Now this is, a, this is a weekly number, so it's pretty volatile. So we look at total listings. If we look at total listings, the 12 week moving average for Polk is definitely an upward trajectory, which is great. Our buyers need more, um, uh, they need more choices. Uh, for Lakeland, not as steep of a climb, but we do have more listings than we had previously. And that makes sense because we were around one to two months of inventory uh, and now we're about two and a half months. Uh, so that makes sense that there's a slightly more inventory overall. All right, so this past week in uh, Lakeland, here's what happened with our closings. Uh, the average home uh, sold was a four bedroom, two bath, which is actually not the norm. It's usually three bedroom, two bath. So that's an anomaly this week because um, the average over all the closings, um, that's what happened. 1777 was the square footage size of homes. And um, that is pretty much in line with where we've been. Not a lot of sway uh, change there. Uh, the average list price was $349,413 with the average list price per square foot of 195.27. The average sold price was $348,188. And the average uh, sold price per square foot was 194.34 average days on the market 35 that's continues to trend down over the 12-week average and then as i mentioned before homes sold at 99 percent of the list price please have a look in the description below on our youtube for all the details ask us about home swap it's a great way to buy and then sell ask us about your remodels uh, if we can see you at our first friday that's this week and we'd love to see you there in downtown all right bye for now guys bye bye